Ever wondered why Hollywood was dubbed Tinseltown in the 1920s? Let's take a journey back in time to the Roaring Twenties. This was a period of dramatic social and political change, and Hollywood was no exception. In fact, it was in the midst of this transformative era that Hollywood, as we know it today, was born. The 1920s saw a rapid expansion of the movie industry. Hollywood transformed from a sleepy suburb of Los Angeles into the bustling epicenter of American cinema. The film industry was growing at an unprecedented pace, with studios popping up left and right and movie stars becoming household names overnight. But why Tinseltown, you may ask? Well, the origin of this nickname is as glittering and captivating as the town itself. The term tinsel refers to the thin, shiny strips of metal foil often used to decorate Christmas trees. It was a fitting metaphor for Hollywood. Just like tinsel, Hollywood was shiny, glittering, and had an allure that was hard to resist. But the term also had a more critical undertone. Tinsel is, after all, just a shiny facade with no real substance underneath. Critics use the term Tinseltown to highlight the superficial nature of Hollywood and the film industry. They pointed out that beneath the glitz and glamour, there was a lack of depth and authenticity. Hollywood was a place where image was everything, and reality often took a back seat to the illusion created by the silver screen. However, despite its critical undertone, the term Tinseltown stuck. It perfectly captured the allure and the contradictions of Hollywood. The town was glittering and enchanting, but it was also superficial and ephemeral. It was a place of dreams, but also a place of illusions. So there you have it. The 1920s saw the birth of Hollywood, the rapid expansion of the film industry, and the emergence of the term Tinseltown. It was a time of transformation and growth, but also a time of criticism and introspection. And through it all, Hollywood remained as dazzling and captivating as ever. So the dazzling allure of Hollywood gave it its sparkling nickname, Tinseltown. Now where did the term silver screen originate from? Let's travel back to the Roaring Twenties, a time when the film industry was undergoing a revolution of its own. This revolution wasn't just about the stories being told or the stars on the screen, but rather the screen itself. Yes, you heard it right, the screen. In the early days of cinema, the screen was a simple white cloth. However, innovators in the 1920s made a groundbreaking discovery. They found that embedding the screen with actual silver or similarly reflective materials made the images more vibrant, more lifelike. It was a game changer. Suddenly the movies weren't just moving pictures, they were a window into another world, a world as real as the one outside the theater. This innovation gave birth to the term silver screen. It's not just a poetic phrase, it's a nod to the technology that transformed cinema. The silver screen was more than just a backdrop for the actors, it was a canvas that brought their performances to life. But why was this so revolutionary? Well, imagine witnessing the transition from flat, lifeless images to vivid, dynamic ones. The silver screen wasn't just about improving picture quality. It was about enhancing the cinematic experience, making the audience feel like they were part of the story, not just spectators. The silver screen phenomenon was a pivotal point in the history of cinema. It set the stage for the golden age of Hollywood, a time when the film industry would reach new heights of popularity and influence. This was the era when cinema became a major form of entertainment, when the magic of movies became accessible to the masses. So next time you settle down to watch a movie, take a moment to appreciate the screen that brings the story to life. Remember the silver screen and the revolution it sparked. Remember how it transformed cinema from a novelty to an art form, from a pastime to a passion. And that, my friends, is how the movies came alive on the silver screen. What were the Roaring Twenties without its blockbuster films? As we dive into the heart of the decade, we find ourselves amidst groundbreaking productions that not only entertained, but also shaped the future of cinema. The 1920s saw an explosion of creativity on the silver screen. As Hollywood found its footing, it produced films that would become timeless classics, setting the foundation for the movie industry we know today. Among these cinematic giants was The Jazz Singer, a film that needs no introduction. Released in 1927, it was the first feature-length motion picture with not only a synchronized music score, but also lip-synchronous singing and speech. Yes, you heard it right. It was the first talkie, a movie with sound. 
This film revolutionized the industry, marking the end of the silent film era and the beginning of a new age in cinema. The Jazz Singer wasn't the only film making waves during this period. The decade also bore witness to the birth of horror cinema, with the release of the haunting masterpiece Nosferatu. This German expressionist film directed by F. W. Murnau was an unauthorized adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Despite its controversial origins, Nosferatu introduced audiences to a new genre and established many conventions that horror films would follow in the decades to come. The 20s were also a time of innovation and experimentation. Filmmakers were pushing boundaries and exploring new techniques. A prime example of this is the 1925 film Battleship Potemkin, directed by Sergei Eisenstein. This film is often cited as one of the greatest movies of all time, thanks to its innovative use of montage editing. It created such a powerful impact on the audience that it is still studied in film schools today. Then there was The Kid, Charlie Chaplin's first full-length film as a director. Released in 1921, it was a unique blend of comedy and drama, showcasing Chaplin's genius as a filmmaker. The Kid was a huge success, and it cemented Chaplin's status as one of the most influential figures in the film industry. And who can forget the epic adventure film The Mark of Zorro, which established Douglas Fairbanks as one of the biggest stars of the time. The film's success led to the creation of the swashbuckler genre, which would dominate the box office in the coming years. The 1920s were indeed a transformative period in the world of cinema. It was a time when filmmakers were not afraid to take risks and push the boundaries of what was possible on the silver screen. From the birth of the talkies to the establishment of new genres, these blockbuster films played a pivotal role in shaping the future of cinema. These iconic films of the 1920s truly set the stage for what was to come in the world of cinema. The Roaring Twenties were not just about flappers and jazz music, they were also about the birth of modern cinema as we know it today. Who were the stars that dazzled audiences on this new silver screen? Let's turn our attention to some of the most legendary actors who defined the 1920s, the roaring era of Hollywood. Let's start with a man whose name is synonymous with the silent film era, Charlie Chaplin. This English stage actor turned film star was already a hit in the United States by the early 1920s, but it was his portrayal of the lovable, bumbling tramp that truly won over audiences worldwide. With his signature bowler hat, cane, and comical walk, Chaplin's Tramp was a character that people from all walks of life could relate to. His films, such as The Kid and The Gold Rush, are still hailed as some of the greatest in cinematic history. Chaplin's genius lay not just in his comedic timing but also in his ability to infuse his films with a sense of pathos, making them a delightful blend of comedy and drama. Then there was Buster Keaton, another stalwart of the silent era. Known as the Great Stone Face, Keaton was famous for his deadpan expression, no matter what chaos unfolded around him. His physical comedy, daring stunts, and innovative filmmaking techniques set him apart from his contemporaries. Films like Sherlock Jr. and The General showcased his ability to create humor out of any situation, even the most perilous ones. Keaton's influence on comedy and filmmaking is undeniable, with many modern actors and directors citing him as an inspiration. And who can forget the it girl of the 1920s, Clara Bow? With her vivacious screen presence and flapper style, Bow embodied the spirit of the Roaring Twenties. She was one of the first actresses to portray the modern woman on screen, breaking away from the traditional roles women were expected to play. Bow's performances in films like Man Trap and It were a breath of fresh air, introducing audiences to a new kind of female lead one who was independent, spirited, and unapologetically herself. Her influence extended beyond the silver screen as her style and attitude became a symbol of the changing societal norms of the time. These actors weren't just stars. They were pioneers who helped shape the face of cinema. They took risks, pushed boundaries, and in doing so, created a legacy that still resonates in Hollywood today. Their performances brought laughter, tears and inspiration to millions, making cinema an integral part of people's lives. While their styles and techniques may have been different, what Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton and Clara Bow all had in common was their ability to connect with audiences on a deep emotional level. They were the first to understand that the power of cinema 
lay in its ability to make people feel. These legendary actors left an indelible mark on Hollywood, becoming the first superstars of the silver screen. Their stories, their performances, and their enduring appeal are a testament to the magic of movies. A magic that began in the golden age of the 1920s. How did Hollywood in the 1920s influence society at large? This question takes us into a fascinating exploration of the cultural impact of this glittering era. The 1920s, often referred to as the Roaring Twenties, was a period of significant transformation. And Hollywood was at the forefront, shaping not just American society, but casting ripples of influence across the globe. During this era, Hollywood became the trendsetter for fashion. People everywhere were captivated by the glamour and elegance of the silver screen. Women started bobbing their hair, mimicking the popular actresses of the time, and men sported slicked back hairstyles, emulating the debonair leading men. The glitz and style of Hollywood glamour were not confined to the screen. They spilled over into society, influencing the way people dressed, behaved, and even aspired to be. Language, too, was shaped by Hollywood. The films of the 1920s introduced new phrases and slang into the public's vocabulary. Terms like the cat's pajamas and the bee's knees, both meaning something excellent or outstanding, were popularized by Hollywood. Movie scripts often contained the latest lingo, and audiences picked up on these phrases, spreading them far and wide. But perhaps the most profound influence of 1920s Hollywood was on social norms. The silver screen became a mirror reflecting societal changes and in turn, shaping them. It challenged traditional values and presented a modern, progressive view of the world. It gave voice to the changing roles of women, the emergence of the youth culture, and the shift in societal attitudes towards sexuality and relationships. Hollywood in the 1920s was a symbol of American modernity, a beacon of progress and change. It was a model for the world embodying the spirit of innovation, liberation, and a break from tradition. The films of this era were not just a source of entertainment, they were a vehicle for cultural transmission, influencing the way people thought, behaved, and perceived the world around them. Hollywood in the 1920s was more than just an entertainment hub. It was a cultural powerhouse that shaped society. So what is the legacy of Hollywood in the 1920s? As we delve into the annals of cinematic history, it's clear that the 1920s were a pivotal time for Hollywood. This decade laid the foundation for the global film industry, setting the stage for the grand spectacles of modern cinema. The Roaring Twenties, as they're fondly called, were a time of innovation and creativity, a period that sparked a revolution in the world of entertainment. The Hollywood of the 1920s was a veritable dream factory. It was during this time that the studio system took root, with major studios like Paramount, Warner Brothers, and MGM rising to prominence. This system, though often criticized for its monopolistic tendencies, was instrumental in shaping the way films are made, marketed, and distributed even to this day. The film industry of the 1920s also saw the advent of the star system. It was a time when actors like Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, and Douglas Fairbanks became household names their fame reaching far beyond the shores of America. The star system, in essence, created the concept of celebrity that we know today, proving that a film's success often hinges on the charisma of its leading stars. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of 1920s Hollywood is the birth of the blockbuster. Films such as The Jazz Singer, Wings, and The Ten Commandments captivated audiences with their grand narratives and innovative techniques. These films set the precedent for the big-budget spectacles we flock to see today, showing us that cinema, at its best, can be both an art form and a source of entertainment. The 1920s also gave birth to the genre of film we now know as the musical. With the advent of sound, films began to incorporate music and dance, paving the way for classics like Singing in the Rain and The Sound of Music. This genre, with its unique blend of song and story, continues to be a staple of cinema, charming audiences with its whimsy and spectacle. And let's not forget the cultural impact of 1920s Hollywood. Films of this era not only reflected the social and political climate of the time, but also helped shape it. They brought the glitz and glamour of Hollywood into homes across the world, influencing fashion, language, and social norms. 
Hollywood became a symbol of the American dream, a beacon of hope and aspiration for many. In conclusion, the legacy of 1920s Hollywood is far-reaching and profound. It was a time when cinema was finding its voice, a time when the magic of the movies was just beginning to unfold. The films, stars, and innovations of this era continue to inspire and influence the world of cinema, shaping the way we experience and perceive films. The Hollywood of the 1920s may be a bygone era, but its influence continues to reverberate through the halls of cinema today, reminding us that this was truly the golden age of film.